Konnichiwa, welcome to Mrs. Lin's kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make miso soup using daikon radish and mushroom. Previously, I have shared with you another traditional miso soup recipe using tofu and wakame. In this video, I'll show you how to use shimeji mushroom and daikon radish. It is also healthy and delicious, so let's get started. Here is the ingredients overview. Miso soup is so easy to make and only requires a few simple ingredients. You can find all the ingredients in this recipe at your local Asian or Japanese supermarket. I use white miso but you can also use yellow and red miso or a combination of all of them. Traditionally, miso soup is made with dashi so make sure you watch my dashi video before making the soup. Let's prepare the ingredients. First, peel off the radish skin, rinse and julienne into thin strips. Next, cut off the root of the shimeji mushroom, break the mushroom apart, then rinse and let dry. Let's make the miso soup now. Add 4 cups of dashi into a pot, turn the heat on to medium-high and let the dashi come to a boil. Once the broth comes to a boil, add half cup of julienne daikon, cook for about one minute. After one minute, add half cup of mushroom into the pot and continue to cook for another minute. When the time is up, turn off the heat, then you can put two tablespoons of white miso paste to the pot. To mix the miso paste into the broth, Use a small strainer and a spoon and mash the paste against the strainer. This will create the cloudy broth that you always see in the traditional miso soup. Miso soup tastes the best when it's served warm and you can garnish it with some green onion. Here is my miso soup with daikon radish and shimeji mushroom. If you are tired of the traditional miso soup recipe using wakame and tofu, Give this recipe a try. It is quick and easy and you can whip it up in no time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for watching and happy eating!